There's the train. Hello YouTube, welcome to part two. We're gonna show you a little bit how we're doing this. We got our DeWalt flapper disc, 60 grit on our Hercules grinder. And we went both ways. We went with it sanding off this way, we went with it going the other way. So this is our finish is going off it. We roughed, we roughed it going up against it. So let's talk more work. get the idea and I'm keeping it this this width and that'll be the edge so it's kind of like sharpening a lawnmower blade but we'll get it out of here real quick it is cold out here and we'll kind of give you an idea what the edge looks like look around the camera here this one I did going up so I have to do the going down on it yet but that's all we're gonna do to sharpen this uh, it'll be sharpening up the split wood so uh, We'll take a break here. Next thing we'll be working on the handle. So, okay, our batteries went dead in the middle of us yak, and I, I bet I talked for two more minutes. So I realized I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, I went this way for okay. I went this way first and went up against it, which really can rip up your flapper disc. This thing's still warm. But then I went, so you go off of it. So one of these sides I gotta go back, I can't remember. I can probably tell by looking at it. But a flapper just gotta remember it, even though it has a flat part to it, uh, if I can reach it. Even when you got your flat part, right? See that? You're still gonna make a kind of round it over you know what I mean it's like a lawnmower blade a lawnmower blade I never have an actual angle I kind of round it over because if you had a perfect sharp angle like a knife it's just gonna chip it all up on sticks and everything so I kind of round over my lawnmower blade so I'm gonna do the same with this uh, there's the end with just a little bit of work I'm not bragging but I'm real happy with my welds because there's not a lot of what they call porosity that just needs to go a little bit further okay so it did penetrate that good because we we're going through the weld and we we're going through where well, this is all one piece of metal now I could have got a piece of 3 8 metal which I didn't have and I could have did this and put the thin handle on it weld on well this is easy for me to do plus it is practice on welding grinding and with the flapper desk so I'll try to get a picture from this end see so you can see the angle don't ask what the angle is. I will try to get it with my angle finder thing. This thing, I'll try to get it and then put it in the description when I'm all done. So stay tuned. Uh, we're on to making our handle. We're gonna drill our holes. I said, then we're gonna heat this up cherry red with a torch, quench it in the snow. Then we're gonna clean it off again with a flapper disc so it's shiny. And then we're going to heat it to like a dark purpley blue color that's kind of approximate. Then we're going to shove it down in a bucket of stove ashes so it slowly cools. Because I know when I heat it and crunch it, it's going to be hard to file. So I did that on my machete. So, like I said, it's not going to be a knife. I'm not a professional knife maker. Uh, please, nobody criticize the way I temper steel. But it's still pretty hefty. So, hang in there. We don't want this part to be too long either. Uh, I am excited to be outside. And doing something, even though it's 20 degrees, it's about 80 over there on the wall. Well, it was. That's about 75. So I can come in here and get toasty warm after being out in the cold. I'm just wearing sweats, uh, sweatpants, and a hoodie and stuff like sweatshirt. So I'm not dressed super warm. But ooh, stop bragging. But more or less bragging up them Dewalt pads. These were only like four bucks a piece on sale. Uh, around Christmas time, so I grabbed a couple to see if I like them. There is some companies out there like Empire and other companies. Remember, I don't get paid to show any product. Just like this thing. The $49 whatever Hercules. So, stay tuned, we're yakking too much, but like I said, uh, it's winter time, it's time to watch videos when you're stuck inside. Real quick, this is with all the burrs and junk file off. It is about 25 degrees angle. 
I am a pretty good guesser on that stuff after doing it. You know, after you do it on lawnmower blades and stuff. But that's with the burr taken off. You can see the edge. The edge is almost flat. See it? Because it doesn't have the fine sharp edge on it yet. But you can almost tell, like I said, it's, it's not flat like you think. It will be rounded over. So this will kind of round over with the flapper disc. That's what I want. Okay. Back to getting handle made, then we'll be done. So, there won't be much left on this part, but getting the handle on it and showing you how good it works. Okay, we're done. We decided not to heat treat this. It's just going to be used for splitting wood. We do have our pins are like something like 5 30 seconds, a little by or eighth of an inch. Just some scrap stuff I had laying around. I said that just paint stick wood is going to have tape on it. I'm going to put my Ace tape, sporting athletes use it. it. Used to be white back in the old days. Now it's pink, blue, whatever color you want. But I, you probably see me put this on a lot of tools like my walking stick and stuff. So I want it comfortable. But. So it's 25 degrees. We did take that off. We did do the top. And you can see a little bit of porosity there. I, I wasn't going to keep going. If I had a belt sander, I probably could have hit every little pock hole that the welder didn't weld in but I did round this over I did take this flapper disc and take set don't have a sharp edge you see me running my finger you actually run your finger and you're not going to cut yourself this edge is not knife sharp this edge actually you can take a flower and go like this and take it off and it still won't hurt because it's just going to split wood we don't need it knife sharp so okay enough yakking about that said so we are going to cover that up eventually we did do a boo-boo with the grinder why lie and hide it say it i was going along with the flapper disc i i touched up a little bit and tried to get this corner i didn't use the file i hit it but it's gonna have tape on it why hide it why lie i screwed up oh well, it doesn't matter it's gonna be taped that's why i use such cheap wood so uh on the scene how it splits some kindling wood so that's next coming up Okay, we did a test run. We do need a bigger baton. This is all we got. We really don't want to get a hammer. We don't have to, but this is the whole idea is to And this is a big hunk of wood. That I need a bigger baton to pound with, and I really hate to use a hammer. I would if I had to, but let's see if we can get it. Might as well spend some time filming this. Pretty extreme if you need to kindle the wood. So that's pretty extreme. Here we go. Yeah. Like I said, little stuff you could probably split it with us. But there you go, you get the idea. I wish I had something smaller. I'd have to go dig through the snow on the wood pile, look for a smaller piece of wood, but that's a big hunk of cured walnut. I mean, that's, I, w I went through this for a test. That's all twisted and knotty. So you see where it broke out easier, or quicker, I should say, before the. That's some hard stuff to do. Even with a hatchet, even with an ax. I mean, it's cured walnut. So there you go. There's a test of it. Uh. We'll probably make another video someday of me making some smaller kindling wood, so you'll be seeing it again. So, thanks for watching.